Welcome to Theater for the New City's Dream Love Festival. Please turn off all cell phones. If it beeps or makes noise, please turn it off for a minute. There is no photography or video unless requested by Theater for the New City. Men and women's bathrooms are on the lower level at the foot of the lobby stairs, and there are two exits. People living 
on dry land. Let's ask them for directions. How do you do? I'm Jordan Floater. And I am curious. What a lovely little houseboat. It's too small. You should see the size of the floater we grew up on. Where are we? We are very far off course. How old are you? Where are your parents? We are not sure of our age. We left our parents and our rather large family of people we picked up along the way to argue amongst themselves. Well, it sure is a pleasure to meet people from the coast. Y'all are miles away from the ocean out here, far from salt water of any kind. This here is the middle of the continent. We live off animals and food from the ground. Are they salty? No, most of our food is sweet. We have to add salt. Not much fish in your diet? We pull some tasty trout from the river. Forgive me, I'm farmer's dead. A widower. This here's my daughter, Susanna. Hello, Susanna. Do you know the way to... Oh, Susanna. All I can think about is Susanna. He's completely out of control. And all because he met the farmer's daughter. <laughs>
Here's a letter from a journalist who wants to interview me about my clover history. You should go. He wants me to meet him on the East Coast. Where? At a holographic sea cafe on a cliff overlooking the ocean. Sounds nice. I've not been to the ocean in nearly half a century. You should go.
here. What is it? Where are we? In a motel off Route 95. I vow never to go near the ocean that Route 84. You're breaking that vow. Go back to sleep. Come first. 
first. To join my ancestors. Give up on land. And float without an anchor. Now that's who we are. Did you say this sea squid is your mother? I say this with all my heart. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. But allow me to prepare a wake and proper burial for her. Are you an undertaker? I'm a park ranger at the Botanical Gardens, but I can undersee the task of adorning and burying her remains. How much are you charge? $8,000. Okay. What was your mother's name? The Vinda Viper. And how many mortars do you expect? I do not know. If they are half as attractive as my brother is to the call of the Cthulhu, then I expect we will have a crowd.
insurance policies payable upon the death of children, they still pay whenever you die. And I shall never die. Mother, she was with us for a time, but returned to the sea. Her husband was her commander, but he repelled her, and she rebelled against him. Look, if you can't go over, go under. Ultimately, he won her over and under, breaking her spirit, releasing her ether. You caught me with your ether net. <laughs> <laughs> She's trapped within our ether net. You are always so glib about the sadness in the world. It is the sadness of my own mind. Then I remember how fortunate I am. Because I'm alive. Because I'm ready to transform. Because if anyone can see. 
see us through this dark time. Then you will, Captain, oh my Captain. Does permission include thinking and doing what I want with you? <laughs> there are boundaries if you set to them. Otherwise, there are none. Thank you. The reality is I will have no time but to spend my time protecting you. When we are in the ocean, cut loose. Then you are in charge. Oh, Susanna, we will all be in charge at one moment or another. Me, you, and Curious Sue will be in charge. Let's go. The ocean is too dangerous. Oh, Susanna, stay on the farm and take care of me, your father, as I age. I hear him. Yet my father passed away three years ago. I know. I was there. And our father is still alive. Interact. <laughs> 